Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller and it is a big week in the NFT space. It's NFT NYC and Ape Fest. Everyone's in town, you don't wanna miss it. The crypto market cap is down about 3% over the last day, sitting around $920 billion. Bitcoin has been in between the $20,000 and $21,000 range, with Ethereum hovering just above $1,000. For today's leaders, we have LEO, which has seen a 7% increase on a daily scale. LEO is the native token to crypto exchange Bitfinex, which just announced they'll be hiring more staff at a time when many crypto companies are downsizing. The Cosmos token is up over 4% after DYDX, a decentralized exchange, announces it'll be moving from Ethereum to the Cosmos blockchain. Uniswap protocol token, which is the token for Uniswap Labs, a DeFi trading protocol, is up almost 4% after the company acquired NFT marketplace aggregator Genie. On to today's biggest laggards. The popular meme coin Shiba Inu is down 10% after having a brief rally. Aave, a DeFi lending protocol, has surged 70% since June 18th. Now Aave is seeing a 10% drop. File, the token that powers Filecoin, a decentralized storage network, continues its five-day bearish streak and is down almost 10%. News broke yesterday that Magic Eden closed their $130 million Series B round. Magic Eden is a Solana-based NFT marketplace and the third unicorn in the NFT market space, with the other two being OpenSea and LooksRare. In its nine months since its launch, Magic Eden has grown to become the largest Solana-based NFT marketplace, holding about 97% of daily NFT purchases on the platform. Solana's reputation has also taken a major hit as the chain reported five major outages in 2022 a major concern for blockchains that are never supposed to go down. These restarts contributed to the price of Solana's native token, Sol, to a nearly 80% plunge so far in 2022. Magic Eden plans to use this round to move away from its reliance on Solana and explore multi-chain options. Voyager Digital, a crypto lender, provided a market update this morning, which included a notice of default to Three Arrows Capital, 3AC, a crypto hedge fund. Three Arrows hasn't repaid any of the debt after the lender initially requested a repayment of $25 million in USDC by June 24th and later the entire balance of USDC and Bitcoin by June 27th. Now Voyager is in discussions with Three Arrows advisors for legal remedies. My colleague Stephen Ehrlich interviewed SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, who made it very clear she does not support bailouts, saying crypto does not have a bailout mechanism, and that's been perceived as one of the strengths of that marketplace. I don't want to come in and say that we're going to try to figure out a way to bail you out if we don't have the authority to do it. But even if we did, I would, I would not want to use that authority. We really need to let these things play out. Tether, the issuer of the largest U.S. dollar peg stablecoin, announced its plans to release a stablecoin peg to the British pound called GBPT in early July. In the spirit of NFT NYC, we're interviewing people to find out more about their NFTs. We have an exciting interview with the owner of Board Ape 7124. My name is Lindsay. I'm a technologist and futurist. I've spent most of my life building and growing hypergrowth startups globally. I'm Canadian, so I kind of imagine that my ape is uh, a guy that got caught up at uh, you know, seventh heaven in Whistler Blackcomb, you know, went a little bit too gnarly in the powder and, and wiped out. It has a halo and it's got VR goggles that I imagine are, you know, sort of ski goggles. So he's just somebody now that has to linger and hang out in Whistler Village for the rest of his life in uh, this sort of amazing ski, ski purgatory. I was looking to sit on the front row of what I thought was a really exciting emerging community and the Board Ape Yacht Club, no question, fit the bell uh, at the time. Has, has it surprised you at all since then? Oh God, yeah, I think anybody who owns a Board Ape and doesn't say that everything that's happened since then has been surprising is lying. It's been completely surprising, a lot of fun, and definitely met the criteria I originally set out to, to buy it for. Oh gosh, I bought mine in May. What year are we in now? I bought mine in May last year, 2021. I think it was 0.48 or 0.49 ETH. 
I don't have any plans to sell the ape now. Thanks for watching. For more updates, be sure to follow Forbes Crypto on Twitter. See you next time.